I'm like, yeah, I'm sick and fucking tired of walking around here looking fucking stupid. Now, I just got shot at back, what, the year before last. This is 2019. The year of 2017 of December, right before New Year started on 2018. Motherfuckers shooting over there at the grocery store. I'm almost in middle of the conflict of the, the gunfire. And I'm thinking like, man, look at look at what the situation is about. Look at the government, man. The government is stupid, man. All all over your social security check, man. You can get shot on the street right now. You can get stabbed, raped, something. Can, anything can happen to you in this motherfucking world right now. And I'm just trying to prove y'all that while y'all trying to comment on my fucking YouTube talking about, oh, have you ever been homeless? Have you ever learned about SSDI? All this and what about saving money for the environment? Fuck saving money. How the fuck you gonna save money when you're going to the hotels for the last two years? When you're wasting your money on drinking and smoking every day? When you're wasting your money while you're masturbating in your fucking room at motherfucking sexual, you know, fantasies when you never even had a girlfriend, uh, never even got close to it? Japanese women until the fucking the last year of June when you just saw when you just started to sign up for them and you just started to go and visit the Japanese people in Chicago lately. So you telling me, oh, that that was my life right there, just to see them for a quick whole year and to not get anywhere, not with my fucking social security check. Of course, I'm pissed the fuck off. Because all this time, I could have had something going on with my life right now where I could have had an apartment, where I could have had my own studio, at least something where I can afford some Session A right now. I've been homeless. Come on now. Motherfuckers don't even recognize me because they look at me because I'm black. And I know, I already understand that. And it's not even that serious. It's not even that big for me. Because I don't even give a fuck about it, really. Because, you know, I come from a family that's, you know, multiracial and they come from, you know, different backgrounds, you know, different not background, but different cultures because I'm not only black, but I got white people in my family too. And that's why I don't give a fuck about white people at all because the stuff that happened to me growing up, so I don't even give a fuck about that. So they just think because they white that they can do everything they can do, you know, and nah, that's not even fucking right, you know. Because just look at how I'm supposed to be in Japan right now, trying to be the, the best artist I could do right now and be the best I can do at it right now in a studio. At it. I'm talking about being at it, sketching artwork. I'm talking about doing animation sales, going back to back, you know, painting back on the back of the plastics and stuff. You know, you know, doing real labor artwork for a real producer, a real animated manga artist right now. I could have been doing something, put, put my skills to use right now for one of these people out there that... That needed somebody like me over there. But look how it is. I'm in America. I'm down the street in America. Where where can I find somewhere to where where to go right now? Nowhere but a, a, a bogus ass, solitude ass area where you can just sit in the motherfucking room that's not not no no not long not not even bigger than the bathrooms at you know McDonald's right now in America. Or over there in Japan right now. If you wanna want if you wanna know the size of what was similar to what I'm trying to describe to you. So what? I got a room right now. So what? I'm doing better than homeless right now. But yeah, I know how it feels to be fucking homeless over fucking 10 years. And I finally did get somewhere to go. But is this what I want? Hell fucking not. Why would I want a room? Just a fucking a little stupid ass room that looks like a jail cell for me. With a microwave. No, and where where is my fucking... Kitchen, where's my fucking bathroom at? Where where's all the stuff that you need as 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 a person for, you know, resourceful resourceful um utilities right now? Where's the resourceful utilities for me? Uh there's no resource no resources. Uh oh uh, uh, you got a microwave, you got a coffee maker, oh uh, and you got some dressers that were built in there already. And you got a bed that you you don't own. You don't own none of this motherfucking bullshit. And you tell me, oh, uh, this is all because I get to get shot at in the last two years. I get to get yelled at by my mom, get to yell get yelled at by my sister, 
Oh, God knows. Yeah, I hope I die. That's probably why I'm still woke trying to yell on YouTube right now. Because I, it seems like no fucking body cares, you know? Nobody really cares about me. They gonna call. They want to call the police on me all the time over here in Merrill's Park. I live around a whole community of Mexicans. And they want to call the police on me. Out of all the fucking work I did for you people on YouTube, out of all the help I did to, you know, contribute, and you people want to call the police on me while I was where, while I was the only one, you know, producing music lately on the motherfucking YouTube channels. When I was the only one fucking making artwork out of the bottom of my heart. When I had nobody to promote me. Like I had nobody from, you know, Japan. Like Ventomiko, Yuma Mizaki, and none of them in my life at the times. And I, I, I digged in my heart to find who I was as an artist. And uh, nobody came through for me. Nobody came through for me. Uh, if you thought the Dragon Ball Z creator would have came through, nobody came through for me to actually get me started where I needed to do, where I had to get started at, to make my first productions on my YouTube channel, which is at the bottom over there, the High Zone Village, my first productions I produced. Did anybody start in those, start in those uh, anime shows or did anybody start producing my fucking footages for my, my, my piece of work? And they want to talk about me being homeless on my fucking YouTube. They want to talk about me fucking contributing to the environment. Fuck this environment. I want to be in my fucking studio. I want to be making my artwork. I want to do this all the time. Only time I want to rest is when I want to fucking beat my dick and masturbate to my bitch. Or go home and fuck my woman. And be like, hey, yeah, I got a woman to fuck. I'm going to fuck my beautiful queen over there. My Latina. I want to be just chilling. And nothing else. But all of this just for a fucking check. Y'all low down, man. Y'all thinking that somebody wants y'all stupid ass mother, mother, motherfucking shit. Man, of course I want my motherfucking money. Why wouldn't I fucking want my fucking money? You think somebody just gonna keep walking around town all the time. Thinking about how he wanna commit suicide. Because all he wants to do is get the fucking right serves. Y'all told me that all I had to do is go down to a doctor and get something signed off. Saying that I can be responsible enough to fucking take care of my fucking self now. All that. But it's not even like that. Once you do make a motherfucker, wait, wait, let me let me let me let me let me take a break right now. Once you do take a realizing break to understand that you can't just fucking give up on that. Okay, drop it then. You want to get like on some other levels and shit at the doctors. And you want to be like all in the bathroom and shit. Or you want to be over there in the bed and shit. Talking about how you're going to be hesitant. Or you're going to be trembling in your motherfucking shoes. Or your fucking socks. Or whatever they got you wearing. And you're going to be like, oh, you got to take motherfucking cations. Just to fucking figure out. Oh, you ain't going to get no motherfucking check in your name. But they want to have you in their hospital. Drugging you up with needles. Or, 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 or oh, oh, just because just like you for the simple facts that you keep repeating over that you want your j-pop album you want the stuff that you want in your room you want more shit than the fuck you getting from a five below store that can just get you started with the fucking productions that you need to have done Instead, you can't even produce, you can't even have one motherfucking moment to yourself where you can just be like thinking about all the stuff that's happening in the world. You can't be the part, you can't be a part of this world. You ain't part of nobody's life. You ain't friends with no motherfucker. You can't love nobody. You can't love nothing. Not even your fucking self you can love. Nothing. The only thing I'm set up to do, go outside and fail every day. Oh, oh get shot at until somebody really fucking shoot me. And even the police is bothering me. Oh, they want to listen to my fucking mom. And she's out of her jurisdiction. She don't say no fucking where over here in the suburbs. In Merrill's Park or Maywood right now. So why the fuck motherfuckers coming over here talking about. Oh, your mom said you want to commit suicide. So fucking what? The same motherfuckers that see me. The same motherfuckers I'm going to deal with that's going to see me till my soul revanish. Till my soul vanish. So I leave this earth, motherfucker. The same people that's going to fucking see me till I fucking go. And you're going to deal with it, motherfucker. If you ain't part of this society, you ain't part of this society. Don't fuck with me. Don't talk to me. I don't care if you're my mom or my dad, my sister, none of y'all. Don't talk to me because y'all don't know Japanese. Y'all don't speak Japanese. Y'all ain't a part of this shit. 
Unless y'all really want to be a part of it, y'all be fans in like y'all were supporting stuff when y'all were growing up and were doing it like I was until I tried to actually start studying and saw how hard it was for me to actually know and still is trying to keep at it and studying it right now. So, yeah, keep at it then. But don't fucking get in my way and try to stop me just because I got dreams. Oh, just because I wanted a fucking woman. I wanted to be with somebody. I wanted to do something. And you try to get in my fucking way now. When I got all these dreams, I got all these abilities to do artwork, music, and, and, and who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop me now? Oh, you got a social security office that won't even let you have your benefits because you're disabled right now. And you don't even fucking want to work because, you know, if you try to work, they're going to fire you because oh, uh, you got an afro. Over here in Merrill's Park, Maywood, Forest Park, River Forest, Bellwood, Berwyn, Broadview. Because of your afro, they they don't want to hire you, but they'll hire another motherfucker down the street, and I can go walk past the motherfucking fucking store while these motherfuckers is working, and they got afros, and they everybody else got different hairstyles, and everybody else look different, but I'm the only mother. Okay, it's good, motherfuckers. It's good though. It's good though. I see y'all niggas. You try to walk up on me. You try to say something to me. I don't give a fuck how I look. I don't give a fuck how I look. I bet you if I snap one day, it's you you you're gonna best believe it. If I snap, motherfucker, you best believe it. I'ma bang your fucking head in. Like y'all motherfuckers been jumping on me. Like how y'all motherfuckers been shooting at me and shit. I'ma do the same fucking thing in results right now, bitch.